back in. Uh, Mustafa, uh, in this case, I, I think that what we have not talked enough about is the weaponization of conservative media creating this fear complex within white America. Roland Martin's, uh, Roland's book, White Fear, uh, we have to think about the McCloskeys, the couple who pulled the gun on black protesters. Think about Kyle Rittenhouse, uh, the young white uh, white man who killed three, uh, three people. The rhetoric around uh, these violent mobs that they say are coming to storm your house, BLM and Antifa, etc. What role do you think conservative media has in whipping up these white people into being so afraid that we're seeing these driveway and these door shootings on the increase nationwide. Well, there's blood on their hands. Exactly. And now they will try to, to say that all they're doing is educating folks right. based upon their worldview. Right. But what they're really doing is creating a very dangerous situation inside right. of our country. We have seen one, we know that we have close to 400 million guns in our country. We know that we've continued to see these hate crimes continue to grow. We've seen everything from the Boogaloo Boys to all these other nationalistic groups continue to um, move into spaces and do things. And now we are actually also bringing everyday people into this mix uh, who are now also picking up guns, who are using uh, language that you would hope that folks wouldn't use, and then, of course, taking people's lives. All that they have done is dehumanize black and brown folks to be able to justify the types of That's violence right. uh, and life taking that we see continually going on. And they do it by making people scared and nervous and once again creating these chaotic situations. And Robin, we, we 